how to work hard and smart to create win-wins. Most people in their job, they are wage slaves. They work hard, they grind, but they don't get anywhere. They're slaving away for their paycheck. They're slaving away. They're working hard, hard, hard. But if you are in this position, you know, you're doing it the wrong way. You have to work smart as well. And the way you do this is by creating process efficiencies. There's always a way that you can be more effective, more efficient in your job. You can streamline tasks. You can clear stuff up. So you can do the same amount of work in less time. And I'm sure, you know, when you started a new job, maybe initially during the training phase, you're working, let's say, 50 hours a week. But then the next month, you already know how to do it. So you can do it in 45 hours. And then it's going to be 40 hours. You want to be in a position that you work as few hours as possible for the same amount of time. Now, here's why this is a win-win. Companies want to see process improvement. If there are processes and procedures in place that hopefully you will develop, it looks really good on your resume. That's, this is a really good example of an achievement rather than just a task. You help to bring down the, the time it takes from 50 hours to 20 hours. That's a huge achievement. But at the same time, you know, even if you choose not to make it public, now you don't have to work 50 hours anymore. You can just work 20 hours. And the other 30 hours, you can work on other things. It's a win-win. Now, initially, when you go to work on these process improvements, you might have to work a bit harder. Like in the beginning of my new jobs, I always work like 70, 80, 90 hours a week because I try to learn as much as possible about the company and the processes. And then I can look at, hey, how can I do this more effectively? What templates can I use? What can I streamline? What are some of the monthly errors that occur? And how can I cut down this error time? How can I anticipate in advance what's needed? And for the accountants out there, like, you know that every year you get audits. And if you have everything ready in advance, you don't have to spend any time uh, at the end of the year to you know, request for information because everything is already there. You know what's required. And if you do that, you know, you worked hard for a while, but you worked smart as well. And you, know, you don't have to work as hard after a couple of months. So it's great for you. It's great for the company. It's great for your emotions. You don't feel stressed out as much. And here's the thing too. If you do decide to leave your company or do something else, you can train a new person like that. You can say, okay, this is the process I developed. Here's step one, here's step two. So it's something great that you can offer as well if you decide to leave. And you know, the higher you go up in the ladder, there's often a clause in the contract that says, oh, you have to give one or two months notice. But if you find a new job that you want to start in a couple of weeks, if everything in your job is streamlined and you can train that person, you know, you're in a position to leave much earlier than if it's not there. So this is really, really important to create win-win-win situations for you, your clients, your business, uh, and your manager as well. Now, here's also why it's a must, especially if you are an accountant or you work in finance. Most companies see their accountant and finance department as a cost center. They don't produce anything. It's just the cost of doing business. Accountants don't make or save money. They just do the books and they expect to pay for it. But all of the other departments actually bring in the money to pay for the accounting department like, you know, sales and client management and marketing, etc. So companies are always looking to reduce their accounting fees. And if you can be proactive to, to show them like, hey, you know, when I started, 20 people have to work in this department, but now only 15, that's a huge cost and time saving. And if you don't work on it, I promise you other people will. And often, you know, especially the larger companies, they hire people specialized in process improvement and they tell them, you know, by the end of the year, we want to save 100K on salaries and it's up to you how you do it. But if you can be proactive and anticipate the needs of the company, 
you'll be in a really, really good position to ask for a pay rise. Like if you could save the salary of five people and you can be more efficient and reduce errors and get everything more done in a, in a time efficient way, you know, you are worth a pay rise. And even if your company doesn't give it, it's a success that you can list on your resume that other companies might be interested in. So again, it's a win-win-win situation. For this exercise, I want you to think of the process improvements that you can do in your job today. Think about how can you reduce time instead of things, you know, costing 40 hours a week, how can you do it in 30 hours a week? How can you streamline tasks and create processes and procedures? How can you reduce mistakes and errors in advance or mistakes that are still there, no one dealt with? Maybe you can take it on as a project and help to reduce that or fix it. What are some of the new processes that you can create? And what kind of technology can you use and implement to help your company apply process improvements? Have a think about this exercise, you know, maybe for the next day or a couple of days. Look at your job when you're working in your nine to five and just think about these questions. How can I reduce time? How can I reduce costs? How can I reduce these errors? What projects can I do? How can I make my job in, the, in a shorter period of time while also fixing all of these errors? The more you think about this, you know, initially you work harder, but in the end, you know, you're going to work smarter and it's going to create win-win-wins for everyone involved.